Okay, so today I am going to make a video on how to make SVG files with Cricut Design Space. So today I'm going to show you how to make this design, Smooth as Tennessee Whiskey, Sweet as Strawberry Wine. So you're going to go ahead and open up your Safari or Google, whatever you're using. And you want to go to um, dafont.com. I clicked over here on Western Fonts. I knew that I wanted something that looked western and kind of rustic for what I was going for. So I really liked this Texas Tango. So I went ahead and hit download. Now up here you can see there's your font. You're going to double click on it. And here's the font. You're going to click on that and hit install font. After you install the font, if you already have your design space open, you need to click out of it and open it back up so that the new font is loaded back in. So that's the font I'm using for Smooth as Tennessee Whiskey, Sweet As. And then for Strawberry Wine, I'm using a font called Candy Cream, I do believe. I'm going, and you just download it the same exact way you would have downloaded that other font. So you're gonna go over here. And for text, I'm going to type in all caps. Yes, it's called cream candy, the um, cursive. So smooth, and I did these all in separate lines. So one text box for each line, and then you're gonna go up here and you're gonna hit all, then it's called Texas Tango. I did caps for this. So here's this, and you're just going to repeat these steps for the next few lines. Okay, now I'm going to change the, the strawberry wine to the cream candy. And the same goes for the wine. All right, so for any scripts or cursive fonts, they do not automatically connect. You need to do that yourself. So you're gonna open it all up, make sure it's all highlighted, and you're gonna hit ungroup. And I will click these over here with my keyboard arrows so that they align perfectly so that they're not off center and none are higher than the others. If you just click and hold, it will move over all the way. Okay, so now that that's all moved together, I'm going to highlight it all and hit weld down in the bottom right hand corner and if these were too close together some of these centers of like the O and the A and the E and stuff like that may have filled in so if that happens to unweld it you just hit the back button up in the top left hand corner but we, we are all good here so now we're just going to do the same thing for wine go ahead and highlight it all hit ungroup move it over Same thing, highlight it, weld it, there we go. So just move that down there, and then here we go, we have smooth. 
So for this, I actually wanted it curved. So you're going to hit um, curve up here, and then you can just move it like this. However curved you want it. Mm, I just want a slight curve, so that's what I did. Move as up there, and I decided I was... Um, you just kind of want to make sure that they're all the same length. So you can use like 10, um, just whatever you want. This, I'm going to use 3. Eh, no, not 3, 2. You just uh, kind of had to play around with it, but the same goes for the Whiskey and the Tennessee. You want those both to be 10. So go ahead and do those individually. That way, everything's the same. And then sweet as, for some reason on this font, uh, I only have one space, if you can see that right there. Um, it makes a really big empty space, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ungroup that and move it over with the arrows. And then just highlight it and weld it to get it all back together. And then the strawberry wine going to go ahead and move that to the top we're going to make that 10 and we're going to make this like mm, we're going to try four see what that looks like yeah sure okay so we're going to move that all over here and then i'm going to highlight all of this and i'm going to hit a line and i'm going to center it horizontally kind of bring it all together and then just mess with this i might go up one make the W a little closer to that W and just space it out however you want it and then this border I just um, searched on Google free Western borders I'm gonna go ahead and insert it and make it bigger or smaller if you make it bigger like this you might get like this funky looking and it's like misplaced it looks off so you want to go down here and you want to unlock it and then you can move it to how you would like you can make it more wide instead of it being all long and wonky so that's how I did that and then the same thing so I'm gonna move that over so I can mess with these letters the same thing for the um, Tennessee I don't like how short it looks and smooth so I'm going to go ahead and unlock it and kind of just mess with it a little bit. Same for the Tennessee. Make sure you unlock it. I'm just going to move it down so it looks like that. Maybe move this down. Move this up. Just mess around with it until you're happy with what you have. And then go ahead and just put that back on there. And then I know you can just attach everything so that it prints out when you hit make it. Okay, let's put that down there. Hmm, not sure why it's saying that. But you um, are going to go ahead and highlight all of this so whenever you make it, it all stays like this and the letters aren't moving on the mat. So there we go and we're gonna hit weld so now it's all one design okay that's just because my mat so I'm going to go ahead and hit make it and if you look over here um, when I actually print well I, when I actually like will go ahead and print this design I'm gonna go ahead and make it um, 11 and a half the longest one because I only have the 12 by 12 mat so 11 and a half and it'll just make that like nine keep that one locked keep this locked whenever you do that because if you don't it'll mess up what you have inside so that is actually what I do here so same for this so if uh, you don't do that, then that error is going to occur if it doesn't match the dimensions that you need inside. So uh, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and make it. And because I welded it, it will all stay together in the exact order that we want it to. So if you want to send this design to a friend and you want to get this um, as an SVG, you're going to go ahead and get out of your design space. 
wait actually before you do that you want to hit this little box up here and it'll take away your lines in the back and then on my macbook i just hit shift command three and then it will take a screenshot and then i will crop this so it's just the white background in my design that i want and then um i'm going to go ahead and take that to safari and i'm going to open up a random svg um, converter so i use a few different websites i really don't have any preference so then i'll just go ahead and upload the image and i already did that here and then you will um, go ahead and click download so then it will be what's this one i did earlier so there is the design and this is an svg file so if you want to insert an SVG file into your Cricut, you'll just upload it, browse, and look for the screenshot we just took, and there we go. You upload it into the design space and the background is already transparent because you uploaded it as an SVG. So I hope that this helped you guys out and be sure to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.